On the 8th of March, Oxford University Women's Rugby Club hosted the 27th annual varsity match, beating rivals from Cambridge University. Before the match, the two teams warmed up, undertaking a vigorous pre-match training session at Ifley Road, Oxford. After the match began, Oxford's number 12, Esther Gosling, scored at the fifth minute from a penalty, giving Oxford a three-point lead. This was followed by a try and conversion scored by number 10, Jesse Joe Flowers, giving Oxford another seven points. The enthusiastic crowd gave resounding applause for Oxford's number six, Elizabeth, as she left the field, unable to continue after suffering injury from a tackle. At the end of the first half, Oxford was leading by 10 points. During the second half, Cambridge players came out fighting. They scored two tries and one conversion in quick succession, bringing their score to 12, leaving Oxford trailing by two points. The match was drawing to a close when Oxford's number seven, Anne Tibby, scored a try and conversion, bringing the final score to 17-12, with Oxford winning the varsity trophy in their 27th match versus Cambridge. Although Oxford women's rugby team initially struggled to fill their squad and they are relatively inexperienced as a team, their skills, dedication and enthusiasm was evident for all to see and we wish them all the best in the future matches. Like, forget the history, it's a big match because we started the season with eight players and today we won both our matches, like that shouldn't be possible, like the odds were so far against us and we did it because we worked so hard, like we earned that, we earned every, every bit of tonight's celebration. It went fantastically. It was so, so tense. Even even when I wasn't playing, I was on the sidelines, I was jumping up and down and going, oh, this is so tense. But then playing, just it felt really good. To, just the, the whole structure was all there. And the Cambridge played really well as well. And it was just a great game. This is Mandy Miller reporting for Brooks TV News.